In this video, we're going to compare the oxygen elements for WooCommerce version 2 alpha 1 with the current version 1.4. So with this website on the left, we have oxygen 4 alpha 2 installed and the website on the right, we have oxygen 3.9. We'll just head over now to the oxygen builder for the alpha. So the first thing that you're going to notice when you select your element for your product builder is that in the previous version you had um, the elements coming up in rather large icons next to each other and in the new version you have all the elements aligned underneath each other and each item then starts with the word product and that's a little bit distracting because it creates a pattern but also you now need to just check carefully you're probably going to be reading more to make sure you found the right item than just looking for the icon which is something that I did more on the older version because of the the way it's structured also there's no real logic um, that I could work out to the listing of the elements so you go from title to excerpt which you would think that's fine and then you suddenly go to description and normally maybe what you would like to do after the excerpt is have the price and then the product cart button and then product images you might want to move to the top because that would normally be in the top left hand column and then you might want to move product tabs down um, product description might be included in tabs or you might want to include that after the add to cart button product info also in the tabs then you have product meta and that you might want to move up to just below the product cart button the product rating you might want to move up to maybe just under the title and then the stock you might want to move that just above the cart button and then the upsells related products and product uh, cross sells you'd want to leave at the bottom so there's no real structure that I could work out to the sequence of the elements and uh, I'm not sure how they ended up in that sequence but they're in the same order that they were in the previous version of Oxygen and they didn't really make much sense in terms of the sequence in the previous version of Oxygen either. However, be that as it may, there we have the elements and you'll see that there's not much difference save for the fact that you now have product cross-sells and product cross-sells wasn't available in the previous version of Oxygen. So let's just add that then to our listing here so in the description if we look at child elements in the layout you'll see not much difference there here it's pretty much the same the only difference is the color and the the flatter color here in the new version works a bit better here in the older version i do find that the um the way that it was laid out uh, in the color is a little bit distraction, distracting whereas here my eyes immediately drawn to those icons so in the new version the layout works as far as I'm concerned uh, very nicely let's go back one and right so here we have the elements and there we have the standard layout so not much difference there I'm going to add a new element so we're going to add a new element so as you can see that uh, normally what we would do is we'd have this here in the top left hand corner that says add and you would simply add and i wanted to add a new product builder to build out a product um, item by item so i can go to product builder and now for example i can add columns so i'm going to add columns and let's make it two columns and right now here I can immediately head over to WooCommerce and I can add the product images so there we have the product image now here in the new version of Oxygen I can't add anything so let me enlarge that screen now the add button does appear so it's just because of the smaller screen size that it wasn't visible let's make that screen size larger right and there we have the add button so we'll add and then let's do the WooCommerce 
and what we'll do is I'm going to go into section and then add the WooCommerce product builder so that makes sense being right at the top and inside that I'm now going to add columns so add basics let's add two columns right and in the first column I'm going to add the WooCommerce and now I've got to look for images and as it's not in any particular order you've kind of got to just try and get used to where the element is placed in that listing the other thing that you may have noticed that if we go back here to um, adding the columns so we'll add the columns you'll see that we and I'm going to just compare that to the previous version so here we're going to add basics and add columns so you'll see that it's pretty much the same even the styling is pretty much the same so it's not often that we have the same styling for the same elements but that seems to be the case so let's just move on and here on the right hand side once again uh, nothing we can do here except keep enlarging the screen so let's add the product title add the uh, WooCommerce product title so there we add the title and let's add the um, price and let's add the cart button so that's pretty standard and if we have a look here let's add let's do the same thing WooCommerce and let's add the product title let's add the product price and then let's add the add to cart um, there we go okay so that's pretty much um, standard and you'll also notice now that we can go in and edit the various items so there we can go into the add to cart button for example there we have the spacing the padding which is brought much closer together the background colors button hover button typography so you'll see all um, pretty similar to what we had before bar that the colors seem to have just been swapped around with the backgrounds so now I'm going to go back and we're just going to add a new element then so once we um, in our panel here I'm going to head over to structure and what I'd like to do now is inside my product builder so that's the first one then we have the second product builder I'm now going to add the product cross cells and the product related products and then what I'm going to do is move the related products above the cross cells so then I'm going to save and let's just head over to the website and I haven't uh, created any cross cells for any of the products so let's just see how that would work so here I am on the product page that's the new item that we created and then below that we have the related products so let's edit this product and let's just have a look at some cross cells so advanced link products cross sell so let's have a look at a belt and let's look at a cap okay so we've created two cross cells 
and then we'll just go and view the product. So here we are, we now have our related products and then we have our cross cells you may be interested in and you'll see we only have the two. So it's created two rather large cross cells and as we add more that will change size. So let's add a third one. So link products. Let's add a hoodie. And let's add another hoodie. Right. And we'll update that. And then we'll view the product. So now we have the four cross cells with the related product. So Um, only two are being displayed on the home page. So let's just have a look at that in the back end. So if I head down to my cross cells and I go to the layout, I'm going to change that to four columns and center. And we'll save that. And now when we head over to the website, you'll actually see now that there is space for four, even though only two are listed edit the product we do have four selected let's have a look at something else so let's look at music let's do an album right then we'll view the product Right, so we, we did make provision for more than two items. However, there's only two items being displayed. And we did select four items in the layout. So that might just be something to do with the um, fact that this is an alpha version. So here we have the cart buttons. Maybe what we can do is let's just change the background color to red. And we'll save that. and we'll okay so that doesn't have an effect so that could just be alpha related issues but you can see that we have related products and then we have the cross cells and then we also have the so related products product cross cells and then the other item that we had in that list was upsells So let's put upsells there and now we're going to go into the layout and let's center. Right and then let's save that. Let's head over here to WordPress and let's see if we can add something in that particular item. seems to be an issue somewhere here. Right, so so now we have a different product on the front end. So here we had we had the pennant. Oh, there we have the pennant. So I'm going to go back to the shop. And here we have the product we were working on. So we have, you have related products you may also like and you may be interested in. So I'm going to edit the product. Beanie, you may also like. I'm going to go to link products. So here we have the upsells and I'll just do the cap. And I'm going to do the belt. And I'm going to do the hoodie. And we're going to do a music. Let's try an album. Right. We'll update that. 
and now we'll view the product so now we have the beanie related products you may also like and you may be interested in so not all the selection is pulling through you'll see that the hoodie um, doesn't come through but we do have the belt and the album and the cap so that's pretty much what you can add then to your your um, single product page if you want to and that is the um, cross sell so you'll see how now that if we look at our product builder that we used to have product upsells related products and now we have the additional feature which is the cross sell so that's an additional item that you can add um, the rest of it all kind of works the same so uh, no big changes there there are some other differences that are also available uh, with the new version of oxygen and with the new uh, component WooCommerce component and that's going to be in the uh, uh, dynamic functionality so just have a look at that I'm going to add a section basics and section and now if I wanted to set a condition you'll see here now that inside the listing of the various items and you'll see it's a much more compact and easier to view list than previous you'll also see now that we have this WooCommerce section so we can have a look at customer bought product product is in cart is shop is WooCommerce page is product is cart is checkout is account page and is endpoint so this is going to allow you to add um, added functionality added information to content elements and then use that to create more interesting content so if we were going to look we could look at something like uh, product is in cart and then isn't cart or product isn't in cart and here we could probably look at something like true or we could just leave it blank so product in cart maybe that will equal an actual product so maybe we need to put in an ID or a product name uh, let's have a look at some of the other conditions then if this is a product page so is product is WooCommerce page is shop so that could uh, this could be for items in the foot of the website or that are then only going to be displayed on the cart page or checkout page or on the account page so these are a couple of new options that are available there in terms of WooCommerce so that's definitely going to make it a little bit um, easier to do some of these uh, selections when it comes to displaying content in specific parts of the website or to have uh, content displayed if it is the shop so that could work well for content elements in the header and the footer so that's just some of the other additions then to the uh, WooCommerce elements for Oxygen Builder. So let's just head back then to the side-by-side -side view. So there you have the side-by-side -side comparison. Um, you'll see here you have the, the black selection and depending on your color of your monitor it may or may not be easy to discern between the selected and the non-selected items. In the previous version it was a lot easier to select. I do like the slightly darker color but would like it if this instead of black was maybe just highlighted a bit more than the other elements to make it easier to see. Other than that that's what it looks like so I hope you enjoy that video and thank you for watching.